Us? I knew it! Steven, we know too much! No, not us, us. I meant me and the Crystal Gems. Wait, so the Hand wasn't here to snatch up humans for a human zoo? Or interfere with our subsidized Beach City wind farm? Or thaw the cryogenically frozen pets of the 1%?! I quite literally nearly shit my pants when I heard this. Ah, oh, hail Ronaldo, the all-knowing wizard! <laughs> I am making this video really Ugh. fuck me I never ever wanted to jump on the bandwagon that lion was pink diamond I never wanted to follow the masses in my theory you guys have to believe me on this but when Ronaldo speaks I must listen you can hate the dude all you want but to me right now Ronaldo has powers that even Garnet's future vision cannot hold a candle up to and in this case so i distance myself from this scenario as much as possible i'm gonna label this as a fan theory because you know the fans made it wink wink let's begin now this whole madness begins when i'm hit up on twitter by toshi um i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that nah i'm lying i will toshi katama Bob Hub Toshi Katame Hub nailed it. So Toshi asked, Can you do a theory on how Ronaldo Ronaldo foreshadowed how Lan has pink diamond shards in his blood? And I just proceed to lose my sanity over this because damn when I watched Ronaldo, it never hit me as anything when he talked about Bloodstone. I even saw them Vox joking about it because apparently Bloodstone was a gem character people have been waiting to see. So now Toshi has got me thinking. I'm in full detective mode. We never really knew or got any explanation about Rose's seven lions seen in the same location that Lion himself was found. Coupled with the fact that Lion 4 alternate ending is coming out and Cartoon Network treated this I am panicking people so I scour the internet <coughs> search on Steven Universe Wikia <coughs> and try to see what other people thought the episode might bring and I hit gold a lot of people have already made the association that every lion episode comes with a rose quartz themed review in Steven's land we got introduced to lion no big deal no rose rule secret there I blame Steven's name being in the title in Lion 2, the movie, in this episode, Steven and Connie go to watch Dog Copter 3. When Steven mentions something about training or his mom, I, I can't really remember. It's been a while since I watched the episode and you guys know I don't really have access to any of my Steven Universe episodes. But Lion proceeds to take him to her bat cave and reveal to him Rose's sword. Lion 3, straight to video. Here we have a moment when Steven also wonders about his mother again and Lion in a way gives him the answers he wanted. Do you see a pattern? In fact, there's two. First off, we get the pattern of the title. Steven's Lion, Lion 2, the movie, Lion 3, straight to video, and now we're getting Lion 4, alternate ending. These titles mean something. Steven's Lion could be like a pilot, a pitch, the TV series of the idea. Lion 2, the movie, is the blockbuster, the breakout. Show us why you are important. Lion 3, straight to video, when a movie goes to video, I presume they know it won't make big bucks on the big screen, but will be a hit on the video market. Now, what could Lion 4 alternate ending mean? You won't believe me, but I actually researched this shit. But, alternative endings are often filmed before being scrapped, and may be subsequently included as a special feature in the film's DVD release. These alternative endings are a special type of deleted scene. In other cases, ideas that were presented but discarded early on are alluded to by the production team in commentaries or interviews. Lion 4 alternate ending is the discarded remains of the movie being added in after the video. I don't know why I explained that but I love the fact that, un that I understood the meaning of the titles and in doing so we might understand what the episode contains as well. Sorry for being so hyper, I just love when my smarts come out in regards to something important. And that important thing being a cartoon kids show theory. Excuse you, but Steven Universe is not for kids. I beg to differ. Break it up, you two. 
Anyway, the second pattern we get is the reveals of each episode. Like Stephen Bomb 17 and Phoenix Flames 23 both said, Stephen's Lion revealed basically Lion. Lion 2 revealed Rose's sword, and to a latter degree, her armory or. What do they call that thing? Secret armory? Whatever. Lion 3, her tape, i.e., her reasons for wanting Stephen and how she perceived the world around her and the earth. So it's obvious to assume Lion 4 will have a grand reveal, but what will it be? Will it be the chest in Lion's mane, which honestly I could give two shits about, or Lion himself? Wait, Lion is a he, right? Almost everyone in this damn show is a girl, and the viewers get so triggered when you misquote pronouns. I do not want to get things wrong. We know that Lion, in one way or another, belonged to Rose. This episode could potentially be a reveal about him as well. <gasps> I just had a thought. What if Lion's chest doesn't contain anything but leads to something? I swear to you, this just hit me while I was typing. We know that Lion's mane leads to a pocket dimension. But where is the dimension? Another universe? Another galaxy? Or maybe what if it was inside Lion? Okay, this is where I'm gonna start sounding like Ronaldo. What if that chest doesn't hold something or lead to somewhere? Like maybe that's where they dumped pink diamond shards and it's flowing through his body because the pocket dimension is in him. Blech. That does sound crazy. Let me go back to something more sane. In Rocknaldo, we have Ronaldo explaining with immense graphics how he wants his gem to be. Which leads to the whole theory of maybe Pink Diamond's crushed up remains is what's pulsing through Lion right now. What do Lion symbolize? Yay, more research! Here's what I got cause honestly, I'm too lazy to go past the search results page. The symbolic meaning of Lion's, as one might imagine, primarily deals with strength. The fact that it is a nocturnal creature means that the Lion is a symbol of authority and command over subconscious thoughts as night is an ancient symbol of the subconscious or dream states wait lions are nocturnal so we know land as a symbol of power and authority a status that pink diamond also held the king of the jungle a metrion of her subjects both pink both with spiky ish hair the resemblances are uncanny now i'm still not convinced by this theory and i'm the one making the damn video but it does hold up weight and is completely plausible. Oh, another thing I found out. Lion's portals are in the shape of diamonds, and its teleportation theme features distorted accordions, the same instruments used in the theme songs for characters of the Diamond Authority. I'm starting to get convinced. Also, another thing that has my alarm bells going out of whack. We have a couple of slow burn, light-hearted episodes, and we've seen it all before. In season 1, we had a couple of not too intense episodes before the epic finale that was The Return and Jailbreak. I really don't know how epic those two are because I didn't start watching Steven Universe till the beginning of season 2. Even for Ocean Gem and Mirror Gem, which were supposed to be the halfway points, the true season 1s, we got some mellow ass episodes before them. Season 2, it could have been great and message received, only had drama filled episodes before them. For season 3, the last five episodes were a constant roller coaster of emotions that had a gratifying conclusion. In fact, season three as a whole was stupendous. But remember, aside from the first two episodes, season three also had mellowish episodes. So why does everyone hate season four and think Steven Universe has become all fillery? Well, one, I thought fillers was a term only used for Naruto. Also, I blame Star. Bitch stole all our fans with an ending season I begrudgingly have to admit was good. But two, it's because for almost an entire season now, we haven't been given anything good, anything solid. I know a lot of people loved Steven Bomb 5, but I personally didn't. There are only five episodes left before the season wraps up, 
Coupled with the fact that Lion 4 alternate ending has been moved to Thursday, March 23rd from a Saturday 18th presumed date is pretty peculiar. I am expecting something that will not only destroy my heart but eradicate all forms of sanity I have left. I have faith in you, Rebecca. Let's put all these naysayers and star converts to shame. Let's go. Lion turns out to have pink diamond shards coursing through his blood as a result of a freak experiment Rose had involving her seven lions. We have the similarities, the patterns, the cryptic tweets, the episodic reveal formula, and finally the almighty words of Ronaldo the Great. We can't lose people! Anyway, let me know all your thoughts about this as I'm sure you will. Do you buy into it? Do you have any concerns or do you believe I should finally be admitted into Gotham Asylum? Also, please help me go and thank all these wonderful people who helped kickstart this theory. I'm a little busy making this video and resting afterwards to do it at the moment. Anyway, thanks y'all so much for clicking to watch. Please don't forget to read my books on Wattpad and support me on Patreon. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay awesome. This is T V. See? Signing out.